constantly have to move the L-shaped piece of paper, it's not even cardboard, blows away really easily in the wind, by the way. Hey guys, David Folk here. Today we're here talking about winter golf gear, launch monitors part two. Let's go putz around. Hit the ball. Boom. All right, as we start talking about Ernest Sports launch monitors, there are a couple of things that we want to get to. The the ES12 came out in 2012 and the ES14 came out in 2014. Now they've come out with a couple other ones, but I really wanted to focus on today those two because they're kind of the bottom of the barrel, cheap launch monitors that are really comparing to like a swing caddy. Let's talk about each one individually. And we're gonna talk about the ES12 First, what it captures is ball speed. It uses the Doppler radar system to capture how fast the ball is going, and then it calculates everything else based on the club that you're using and the calculation. I've actually owned this uh, previously, and I was not a huge fan of it. I found that better strikes were more accurate, but anything that went off to the left or right that had any sort of major spin on it, it calculated very poorly. Better strikes go straight, and left and right strikes go like this. It gave me funky yardages compared to what I was using with my laser finder. Other struggle with it is that it has a set spot that you have to put it, especially if you're using it out in the range, it's one of those that you have to constantly move it. Now, when I did hit it accurately and I hit it where I wanted to hit it and the strikes were good, the ES-12 actually worked pretty well. It gave me numbers that I would generally expect it to give me based on that information. But it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't do really well on miss hits or low shots that are thin or fat shots that that don't go as far. The app itself that came out with it, the ES-12 app, is is not really good as well. It actually didn't even have a left-handed player at the time when I was using it, so everything I saw was from a right-handed player's perspective because apparently people don't like left-handed people, and that's a shame. It wasn't necessarily the biggest issue, but the averages that came out really weren't super accurate because I wasn't perfect every time. And therefore, the, the averages that I got didn't accurately show how well I was actually hitting the ball. And that was the biggest struggle that I had with the ES-12. Moving to the ES-14, they've improved it a little bit. They actually calculate ball speed and club head speed. They use two Doppler radars, one in the front and one in the back to be able to calculate that so that you guys can have a little bit better understanding and get a little bit more information. And what they claim based on their website is that it calculates carry distance, total distance, ball speed, vertical launch angles, spin rate. Now, the only things that are actually captured are the ball speed and the club head speed. Everything else, including the spin rate, is calculated based on those two pieces of information. And like I said with the ES-12, the better strikes gave you better information and more accurate information. Strikes that weren't so good, thinned, hooks, slices, pushes, pulls, they didn't give me the best information that I thought I should get with both distance, launch, and carry because it struggles when it has only one Doppler radar going this way without any sort of other information. The app itself is also struggling. I didn't find it great. It continued to put out updates as I was using it, as I got it, because I was hoping it actually capture spin rates, which I found later it didn't, but the app still struggled with giving me information. Um, there's a couple of people who also have done online reviews. I'll put those in the description below, like Parta Pro. They've given a, a great comparison of the GC2 versus the GS14, and they're gonna say similar things, that it captures better on better strikes, and it doesn't capture on great strikes. Now, on the driving range with the ES14, you not only have to constantly move it, but you also have this L-shaped bracket that you have to put down there and it wants you to hit specific types of shots in a specific box and we're talking like that so as you take divots out in the driving range you constantly have to move the l-shaped piece of paper it's not even cardboard blows away really easily in the wind by the way like it's really sensitive based on 
where they want you to hit it. I've tried hitting things out of it and, and the launch is completely skewed. So if I hit a driver where the iron was, it was it was not even close. The, the premise and the concept is a really good idea, but the execution of it just struggled tremendously because of how they designed it. As you look at those two Ernst Sports products, I would say guys, completely not worth it. Um, I would recommend if you guys are looking to do something similar to that, a swing caddy is a great option. So while we're talking about this swing caddy, let's just talk about it. The swing caddy I think is gonna be the best simple Doppler radar machine out there on the market under $300. It's not as good as this flight scope Mevo that we talked about before, but it's better than the ES-12, the ES-14, the OptiShot and giving you more accurate numbers than what you're looking for. You do have to input your uh, club that you're using and, and there is no phone app for it. So it's all from the device, but the device isn't much bigger than let's say an, iP an iPhone 6S Plus. It's pretty small, it's really easy to read out in the range, uh, and, and it's pretty accurate on more mishits than the ES-12, the ES-14, or even the OptiShot that didn't read all that well with mishits. I like the Swing Caddy. I think it's gonna be a great option. Uh, there's been reviews on it. I know that my Golf Spy rated it really well for under the $500 market for launch monitors so it's something that they've tested and proven as well that they like it so if you guys are looking for a great cheap launch monitor to give you pretty accurate numbers during the winter time and you don't want to spend the money on the flight scope mevo which i still think is the best doppler radar system under 500 dollars. this is the next best option it's not going to do anything fancy it's not going to give you simulation it's not going to give you any of those it's just going to tell you numbers and be able to give you what you're looking for with distances be able to control that so you can hone in those numbers so guys let me know if you've tried those three go ahead and post those comments down below what do you guys think of the es12 of the es14 and the swing caddy put those down below have you compared them to the flight scope mevo if you guys have tried that let me know what you guys think as well I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions about any of those post those down there as well i look forward to hearing from you i love the conversation that we get to have all the time and while you're down there guys go ahead hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up because youtube likes that thanks for watching and we'll chat with you next time